in that wonderful fresh sea air it's been nearly three months I believe since I've been to the coast and I thought we deserved a little bit of color in our lives <laughs> didn't happen we've got or we were forecast sorry a hundred percent high cloud and we've got some wispiness going on we've got a thick bank of cloud on the horizon which is actually stopping this little lot lighting up although there is a little bit of promise there maybe I might have to disappear off quickly and shoot that because it looks like it might color up I'm back at Withensea because I wanted somewhere that I knew for my first trip back but I'm again trying to do different images. I've started off with the typical groins into the water from the right hand side of the image and the sun coming up in the background. And then I've tried something slightly different. These groins are a beautiful shape. They're angled, they're not blocks. They're sort of tubes that come up and they're all nicely angled and almost chamfered. And then they've got circular tops on, almost like stepping stones out into the water. So I've lined up dead centre down the middle of them. Long exposure, obviously. You can't come to the coast and not do a long exposure. I'm just keeping an eye on the clouds, sorry. <laughs> yeah, quite like that. I'm not using the polarizer because the sun is rising over there and that's not the right angle to get the polarizer on and working correctly I'll end up with that horrible dark bit of sky I keep looking at the sun and it is I can see it rising but it's hidden behind a bank of cloud I'm not sure how long I'm going to be here or what I'm going to come up with but I wanted some minimal stuff I wanted some long exposure stuff and I wanted a bit of colour I wanted to smell the sea air and just enjoy being here I've been shooting at let me just have a look see Oh, what have we been shooting at? F8 and 54 seconds, 55 seconds, 126 seconds is a little bit too long. But that actually brought out some really nice blues. So yes, not ridiculously long exposures, but long enough. I'm going to have a little wander down there just to see what's there. We're at her eight, I think high tide is eight o'clock and it's only 20 past seven? Well, if it comes in much higher, I'm going to be stood up on the pavement. I was expecting it to be quite a way out. But hey, these things happen. Oh, look to that sun again. Now, because that sun's coming up over there, I'm going to get some nice side light on these groins. And also on the marker that's out there, and they've got these beautiful red conical tops. Sort of conical, they look like a basket. That one is really beginning to pop out. So you've got blue and sort of a murky brown. And then, yes, the red. But in order to shoot it so that I don't end up with the horizon level there and then a gap and then my conical basket thing, I'm going to have to possibly back up a little bit. And I don't think I bought the big lens with me. Did I bring the big lens with me? No, because I wasn't wanting to do any long lens work. But I think about here would probably make the basket sit slap bang across the, the horizon line. 
and that cloud isn't going to light up. Darn it. Darn it, darn it. But hey, it's not raining, it's not windy, it's nine degrees, and we're at the coast. What more could you want? So I'm going to carry on and line up some images. Back in a bit. I'm still faffing around. There's some beautiful light hitting the side of these groins and really bringing out the rich reds. The really deep, deep red brown colour. They're beautiful. Oh, oh, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Oops, that was a rogue one. There's another photographer here and we both just got caught by that one. I was in the middle of doing a long exposure really didn't work because phew, that wave came in really strong and that's the first big wave I've seen for about 10 minutes. The tide is now receding so we must be near enough eight o'clock and I just wanted to catch some lovely silky smooth water with the beautiful light on those because that's gorgeous. So the 10 stops on I've got a soft grad and I'm oh, sorry I've got 0.3 medium grad and the reverse grad because the sky is considerably brighter than the water. I've done a very minimal shot of the marker post with the little cage on the top. I was stood right back here, right out of 55 mil, and I got the tripod almost as a monopod just to make sure that that cage sat right on the horizon line. There's no footprints in this bit of sand so if I don't get the water all the way up, it's not going to be the end of the world. I'm not entirely sure what my camera is doing at the moment. In fact, I'm going to turn it off a second because it's having a paddy. Right, let's see what that did. Oh, that's very dark and moody, and I really like that, but that was only 30 seconds. We don't want 30 seconds. Right, here we go again. But it really... Oh, yes. has gone particularly yucky. The cloud that was around has dissipated. The, the sun is ridiculously bright. But when I was stood down there, these three marker poles, marker posts, sea defence thingies, caught my eye. But I can't get the angle that I want on them because the tide's still so far in. But by the time the tide's far enough out for me to get the angle I want, uh, they'll not be underwater. <laughs> but while I was here, in a rather precarious position, because every now and then, and it's not every seventh or every tenth wave, it's, it's weird, we're getting a massive wave. And I've come close to getting swept off these rocks twice now. So I've moved myself back up a little bit. But while I was here, that marker post, the sun is glinting off the side of it beautifully. And I've got two rows of windy mills in the background and an oil rig, which is kind of spoiling it a bit, but hey, you can't have everything. I'm presuming it's an oil rig. So we're having a go at doing that. I'm on a rock, so I don't have to worry about the tripod sinking or theoretically getting swept out to sea. I've lined it up again so that the bottom of the cage is directly on top of the horizon line. I'm trying every trick in the book that I know to lose that horizon, but because there is no cloud, it's not happening. Which is annoying, but I think it still works. I think we're on a 30 second exposure, we are. So 
have a look. Yeah, it's a shame that that horizon line is so harsh. But the one I took where I could probably get away with cloning, the, the first one I took, I was a couple of mil out and there's a gap between the cage and the horizon. <sighs> Might have made it a bit easier to clone the horizon, I'm not sure. But I think I'm going to have to call it a day here because that light is so harsh. Unless I can find some images excluding the sky, that's going to be it for today. So it's short and sweet. Well, short-ish for me. <laughs> you have to try things or you don't know if they'll work. That's why I've shot that one. I have done a stupidly long exposure on these three with the intention of square crop, black and white, which I really didn't want to do today. I really wanted colour. But at least it's not raining and it's not blowing a gale. So we're happy. Um, I'm going to crop it and just see what happens. It was about a minute and a half, two minute exposure, I think, on that. I'm going to figure out how to get back up from here. I want to go over those stairs, but to get to those stairs, I've got to climb over those rocks. And as I say, there's a, a wave that's coming in that is absolutely ridiculous. So, yes, if you don't see me again, that's it. Thanks for coming along. Hope you've enjoyed with and see for a sunrise with a little bit of colour. I haven't finished yet. <laughs> I wanted another image. You can never have too many images when you're at the seaside. But as I say, you can see in this, and I can't figure out where I'm pointing, you can see the difference between the horizon, sorry, you can see the difference on the horizon between the sky and the water. It's a really harsh line and I really don't want to spend hours cloning that out. So I've been looking for something I could shoot down onto and you may be able to make out these groins, sea defences, and they have the uprights, but then they have slanty bits coming off from supports. And I thought, oh, I don't know, I'd, I'd walked along the top and I thought, mm, maybe. So I've come down, I've gone portrait orientation, and the last shot I did, I was at 90 seconds. Polarizer, and I've still left me two grads on. And I've also got the 10 stop. Yeah, I think it works. Very abstract. I can't have too much space around it because I end up with the first post coming in at the bottom of the image, which I don't want. And then I end up getting the sky in, which I really don't want. Yeah, let's have a look, see what's appertaining. Yeah, 145 seconds. I really need to be taller. Obviously, it's not getting uh, any movement in it. Yes. There's just a little bit of a shadow starting to appear because obviously the sun's coming up in that direction. There's a little bit of a shadowy area. It's not too noticeable, so I might just leave it. <sighs> but that's it, definitely done. And it's only quarter to nine. I feel like I've been here for hours and hours. I was expecting my phone to tell me it was like 10 o'clock. Very strange. So yes, yeah, good morning. Really enjoyed that. Nice to get out, nice to get some sea air. You can't beat a sunny day at the coast, can you really? And I think I finally got my eye back in. It's strange, you practice and practice and practice, it becomes second nature you have a bit of a break, go off, do something completely different. And if I've only left it a couple of weeks, I'm OK. Having left it mm, two and a half, maybe three months since I've been at the coast, it's taken me a while to get my eye back in and to judge my times, because I don't use any of the apps, because I can't get on with them. But yeah, yeah, happy, 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 happy. So anyway, 
this is definitely it. Going home. Catch you next weekend. Have a great week. Bye. I think I'm going to try zooming out and going from the third row. There we go.